Hello, Vanessa here from The Craft Corner. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this really cool little magic expanding envelope. So it's kind of like a little secret message pouch. At least that's what I'm calling it anyway. If you can think of a better name for it, please tell me. So come on in and let's get crafting. So the materials I'm gonna use for this are very simple. An A4 sheet of paper, a pencil, a ruler, which might be optional, glue stick and a scissors and then you'll also need some markers for decorating. So the first thing that I'm going to do is turn my rectangular piece of paper into a square and if you haven't done this before I've done this in for origami projects and I actually have a video on it and I've chosen really thick paper for this because when I make my expanding pocket I don't want the I don't want what's written on this side to show through on the other side. So now that I have it folded over, so see this point here is folded over, I'm going to cut this out. Now there is a longer video on how to do this and I'll link it in the description below if you need help with this part. Cutting along this line, and I'm going to keep this piece because I might be able to use that for another project. So now I have my square and we need to create four blocks going this way and four blocks going this way. So to do this, I'm going to divide the paper in half both ways. So I'm going to start this way. It doesn't matter which way you go, but you put this and fold it up here because we're going to divide it in half and that's going to give us two sections. And then we divide it in half again and that'll give us four. So see that line there, that's a half. And then this goes into the center. And if you find it hard to figure out where it is, you can always draw a line here for the center. And in fact, I might do that now, just so you can see where I am. So this here is the halfway. And then I folded the outside in and I've got another line here. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So fold this point into that halfway line so you don't need to draw these lines in if you don't want to. I'm just drawing them so it's easy for you to see where I'm going. So now I've also got a line here. So I have one, two, three, four, so four sections and I'm going to do exactly the same thing going the other way. So fold it in half and then, so I've got my halfway point there. Just draw the line so you can see it. And fold this going in so you're creating eight little boxes and do the same on the other side going into the center now so i would recommend i wouldn't draw these lines because you want yours to just be like this so when you fold it, you're not seeing any lines in the middle of your drawings that you're going to be doing. I have just done it so you can see what it looks like. Now that we've done this, we need to cut this center section out. So to do that, fold it over and you're going to cut out this here. So you need to have all of these boxes around the edge. So I folded it over so it's easy to cut because if I have it like this, it'd be very tricky. But if I fold it over, I can cut up to there over to here and then very carefully cut along here nice and slowly now and then with the center piece again we can keep that maybe for another project and we have this left so this is what's going to make our expanding pocket envelope that's what I'm calling it the expanding pocket envelope this stage we're going to get our glue stick and we need to glue certain sections. So these two opposite corners we need to glue them down to the corner beside it. So this one here we're going to glue down to here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this square here and I'm going to glue it down to there. Okay and this one I'm going to glue down to here. Put a little bit of glue on that corner, oops, don't need that much, and then glue that down to there. So those two opposite corners are glued down. Right, now 
the two corners that are not glued down, we are going to glue these to this one here. So this one is going to glue down to here and this one is going to glue down to here. So before we came in like this, now we're coming in like this. So you're going to put some glue on this corner here. So see the one that's not glued down? You're going to glue, put some glue on that one and glue it in. And this one hasn't been glued down. See this one's glued down already. This one not glued down. So I'm putting some glue on that corner. That little square. And folding it over in there. And if we've done all our gluing correctly, we should now be able to open it up constantly like this. So see here, pull it open and open and open. And you can create little patterns, diagrams, drawings, whatever you want. To. And for mine, I'm going to pick a series by Albert of some Einstein, of my one of the greatest creatives in the world, creativity, in my opinion. For each of my little and this quote panels. is and Creativity I starts seeing with quote, what others see and thinking what no one ever thought. It's pretty wise, Albert Einstein. And you can decorate these, you can create artwork out of them. Like I said, use this little magic pouch for whatever you wish. So now that I've finished my first little panel, I'm going to twist it open and get started on my next creative quote. And this quote that I've chosen is from Maya Angelou and it is, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. So I'm going to say that again because it's pretty good. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Maya Angelou. This next quote on creativity, the interwebs gave me, and it is by someone called Audre Lorde, who I'd never actually heard of before. And it is, creativity is the language you use to communicate the urgency of our dreams for a better future. I actually made a little typo on this one. So I used some creativity to pop in those words, the urgency, but I actually quite like how it turned out. And I use kind of blues and greens for the design on this because I was thinking of oh, sustainability and nature and the earth. But it's a pretty good one to remember that creativity is the language we use to communicate the urgency of our dreams for a better future. Because it's going to take creative thinking for, to get where we need to go in the world. So now we are at our final little panel. And for this one, I chose one of my favorite authors, Brené Brown, and a quote that she has on creativity and failure. So her words from Brené Brown are, there is no innovation and in creativity without failure. And this is Brené Brown. She's a motivational speaker. She did a very popular TED Talk. But you can see how I have picked for my little magic pouch words and words on creativity because these are both things I love and it'll be something really nice for me to have. I can put it on my bookshelf. I can keep it in my wallet if I want. And you could make as many of these as you like because really there is no limit on creativity as we've chatted about here. So happy crafting. Enjoy this project. It is one of my favorites that I have come up with recently and it's based on a project I did many many years ago when I was a kid and I had an Osborne book on paper arts so it took me a while to remember how to make it but I'm very glad I did and of course once I remembered I had to share it with you guys. <laughs> 